Building Report Good afternoon, Ms. Jones and Mr. Jones. Please come in and make yourself comfortable. My name is Ophelia and I am an associate social worker. So now that we have gone over the consent form and you have both signed it, I would like to thank you. This tells me that you are both committed to each other. Creating new deeper conversations. I received a referral from your PCP, Ms. Jones, and it states that you are having depression symptoms. Can you tell me more? Great, thank you for letting me know and sharing. So I understand that for the last two weeks, you have been feeling sad with little energy, your appetite has changed, and you have not been able to sleep well throughout the night. And you believe you feel this way because you have not uh, been able to spend much time with your husband? Assessing the problem. Mr. Jones, were you aware that Ms. Jones has been feeling this way? Okay, so Mr. Jones, you were not aware that Ms. Jones has been feeling depressed. And you recently changed jobs and now work late hours. So because of this, it has been difficult for you to spend quality time with your wife. Ms. Jones, because of your husband's long hours of work, you feel that he does not make the effort to spend more time with you. And the la last date night you both had was months ago? Changing the emotional climate in the room. I can hear your frustration, Ms. Jones. And it would, be po would it be possible for you to let Mr. Jones know what it is that you're feeling and what it is that you need from him? Go ahead and face each other. And with the gentlest voice, please, Ms. Jones, go ahead and talk to your husband. Mr. Jones, how did it feel hearing from your wife that she loves you and she loves spending time with you? Can you please face her once again and tell her? Normalizing. Sometimes what tends to happen in relationships is that we stop doing things that we first did at the beginning of the relationship when we first fell in love. And then this is when a relationship begins to have conflicts. I believe it is important to tell each other each day the love that one feels for one another. And this can, this can also be done by showing acts of kindness to each other. Offering a new view of the problem. Ms. Jones, you understand that your, ha that your husband works late hours, but you also feel that he can make more of an effort to spend time with you on the weekends when he doesn't work. And Mr. Jones, you were not aware that Ms. Jones was depressed, and because you work long hours at work, it is difficult for you to make that time during the week. I believe that communication is key in any relationship, so we will work on the ways to improve the communication with one another. Preliminary Treatment Plan So it sounds like you're both committed to your marriage and love each other very much. I recommend that we meet bi-weekly for three months. I understand that Mr. Jones, you work long hours during the week, so we can schedule the appointments on Saturdays. Would this be something you both agreed to? Great, thank you. What I hear from both of you is that communication is something that you would both would like to improve. So can we agree that communication, that, that communication skills will be our focus? Great. Ending. In three months, we can discuss on how your relationship has changed and improved. And if at any time you feel that you want to discontinue services, we can discuss it. Thanks again for coming in today, and I look forward to seeing you in two weeks. Have a great day.